Well, right now you can catch me in Morning Glory, uh, which is a movie with Rachel McAdams, Harrison Ford, and Diane Keaton. And I play Rachel McAdams' uh, friend and co-worker who, well, you'll see in the movie. I'm in the beginning and at the end. I'm also in Love and Other Drugs uh, with Jake Gyllenhaal. I got, yes, um, and uh, in that one, you just see me, it's more of a visual, I'm with Jake, and I got to shoot it for eight hours. Basically, I was paid to flirt with Jake Gyllenhaal for eight hours in terrible, Pittsburgh, terrible at a bar in Pittsburgh, <laughs> Pennsylvania. And it was a lot of fun and uh, a really hard day at the office. Terrible yes, it's, it was horrible. Dunhill Road, it just got accepted into Sundance, and this is a super indie film, um, and, um, and Rashad Ernesto Green uh, wrote and directed it. And it's starring Isai Morales and Judy Reyes and Vanessa Spiaga and Miriam Colon. And I mean, you know, you've got a great group of people. Um, uh, it's, it's just an amazing, amazing, was a great experience because it was a lot of heart. It's about a Puerto Rican family, Puerto Rican Dominican family in Gun Hill Road in the Bronx. Um, the father, uh, unfortunately, was away in jail, at jail for three years, and he comes back to his wife and son, and his son is actually, um, a, you know, having sexuality slash, not so much sexuality, it's gender uh, issues because he is a male to female trend transgender. Um, Rashad, the director, very, there was a, like a germ in his, you know, the, the, it came from, the genesis came from a loose situation in his family and he decided to write about this. He's from NYU, he won a Spike Lee uh, fellowship, he's a wonderful director and this is his first feature film, and it's one of the 16 uh, films in the U.S. Dramatic Feature competition at Sundance. And basically, the juxtaposition between, you know, uh, this very tough world and this other, you have your family, this son that you love, who's going through this, what do you do? Do you, do you come to terms with it and accept him or do you, you know, wash your hands of it? It's hard when you have, it's somebody that, you know, you love and, and you have to put aside your own, whatever your own thing is and your own, you know, ideas and just say, well, this is somebody that I love. This is a person that is, comes from me. And I think that, that it was approached with um, a lot of love and Esai is wonderful and they had a great, you know, Esai and Judy and, and Harmony had just a, such great connection because even when the cameras weren't rolling, they were very uh, warm and Harmony really felt very embraced by them and it was a lovely experience. It was super indie. And, you know, so it's a lot of heart and hard work in one of the hottest summers of <laughs> in, in the city. It was so hot. I actually play Isai's sister. So I got to get into his face, call him out on some things because he is this macho guy. Through the film, he comes to a certain sensibility and sensitivity um, towards his son, but but he is this machista, you know, strong guy. And so he starts talking about my kids and what they're doing and my little boy. And, and I, I get in his face and tell him, no, 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 try to raise my kids. I didn't, I didn't cut him, but I metaphorically cut him. I, 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 I mean, you know, listen, and, and the only way I could ever do that is really in a movie because Isai is, you know, he's, he's, he's very sweet guy, but, 
like, you know, you don't want to mess with Eastside Morales. <laughs> this is Vanessa Aspiaga, the Bochinche.com. Have you heard?